few vegetarian friends and I love when they come over because I love to entertain, of course, but also I love the challenge of making new and exciting recipes for them. This is my spicy cauliflower dip with coriander. I absolutely love it and it's super simple to make. So over here I've got one onion and I'm just softening it up in a little bit of olive oil. I've also got my oven on at 180 degrees and we can start cooking our cauliflower. So I've got one head of cauliflower here and I've just cut it up into florets just like this. And we place it on a baking tray. And you want to make sure that they're around the same size because I want this to get really soft because it's going into a dip. I need to drizzle some olive oil on top. Perfect. And a good pinch of salt. So straight on there. And now that goes into the oven, like I said, 180 degrees for 35 minutes. So while that's cooking, we can get onto our spice mix. So I've got five spices here. The onions are softening and we need some chili. And we're just going to just roughly chop them around one centimetre. I'm keeping the seeds in just for a little bit of heat there. If you want a little bit more chili, by all means, add it. And we just want to soften them with our onion. I've also got one clove of garlic, so we just bruise that and again, roughly chop it. This is all going into the blender so it doesn't have to be perfect, which is great. And now, once that starts to soften, which it is, just give that a quick stir like that. We also do need to season it with a little bit of salt there. So a pinch of salt. We can start adding our spices. Now I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cumin, quarter of a teaspoon of ground fennel. I've got half a teaspoon of paprika and one teaspoon of ground coriander. Okay, let's give that a toss. And we're just heating this up. Okay, that's it for now. We're going to turn that off. We're just gonna leave this here until our cauliflower cooks. 35 minutes and then we can just blitz it all up together. It smells so good in here. You can smell all of those spices along with the chilli. And I've brought out the cauliflower too. So you can see it's a beautiful golden colour. So in the bowl of a mini food processor, we're going to place all of this onion mixture along with all of our cauliflower. In that goes, last few bits. And we need a touch more salt and this is a really nice addition. I've got some coriander here and I've gave, given it a, a really good wash. And what I'm going to add is just one of the coriander. It's loads of flavour in the base of the coriander. So I'm going to cut that in half just like that. And you can see how clean it is. This has got so much flavour. So just roughly chop that. And I will use the leaves to garnish this dip right at the end. In it goes. I'm going to start with a little bit of oil just to get it going. So all up, we want about a quarter of a cup of good quality extra virgin olive oil. Lid goes on and we'll give that a really good blitz. This dip is perfect, it's smooth, and it smells so good. But a nice big platter, just like this, and we just pile it on. You can see how creamy and smooth it is. That's what I love about cauliflower, it's so versatile. I'm gonna get some olive oil, drizzle it over, just a little bit more like that, and the coriander. So just pick off some of the, the leaves, three or four, not just to look what I actually like when I'm putting my lavosh in there, you're actually picking up some of the beautiful coriander leaves. And speaking of lavosh, I like to serve it with a whole lot just on the side with other condiments. You can see here I've got pickles, artichokes, lots of different chilies here. And you know, lavosh is great because it's quite sturdy. So once you dip in, nothing's gonna break. I wanna have a taste of this. Mm. That cauliflower makes it so creamy. That's not gonna last long. Vegetarians aren't only gonna love it. 
everyone's going to love this dip.